Hey guys, Gun Wild here, and welcome to EDC on a Budget. Today we're going to take a look at another CRKT knife, and today it is the Ryan 7. This is kind of a beast of a knife. This is designed by Steve Ryan. What this is, is a 3 and 3 8 inch stainless steel drop point blade with a bead blast finish. Now this is also available in a semi serrated. And it's also Teflon coated. Now from the top of the blade to the belly here we're looking at at 1 and 3 8 inches and it's an eighth of an inch thick. The close length on this is 4 and 5 8 inches long. The open length, or overall length, is a whopping 8 inches. The thickness of the body here, not including the pocket clip, is 7 sixteenths of an inch. Now this blade features ambidextrous, oversized, jumbo, I would say, thumb studs that have some some uh, serrations on there which give it a good grip but they are quite large and the uh, scales on this are checkered black Zytel that are kind of a zigzag pattern as you can see they're laid over a matte finished uh, stainless steel liners this is a liner lock it has a nice size lanyard hole there, perfect for paracord. And it comes in at a stout 5.7 ounces. <clears throat> now, it has a stainless steel pocket clip that is not reversible. I know that's kind of a downside for a lot of knife carriers. Uh, they prefer to carry tip up, but, the, but this is tip down only. And, uh, well, this guy here is made in China, but it does come with a CRKT lifetime warranty. Now, I picked this thing up on eBay for $11 plus $4.95 shipping. Um, now, I've seen it as high as $35 on eBay. Now you can pick these up on Amazon anywhere from $16 to $24. Several sellers have them and they are for a wide variety of prices. On the blade here you can see the Ryan name there along with a biohazard logo and then the US patent number. On the other side is the CRKT logo. This has been a very nice knife. I've been carrying this thing for the last oh, two and a half, three months or so, and it has performed very nicely. Um, now, I don't mind a large knife. Actually, I kind of prefer a large knife. So, uh, for those of you that like a, a real light, you know, a knife that weighs absolutely nothing. This one's not going to be for you. This is uh, uh, a beast. It's a worker. I mean, it, it's not no uh, sissy boy knife. Um, I love everything about it, with the exception of those oversized thumb studs. Now, they are a little difficult to get your thumb under to actually push the blade out smooth you know it's smoothly anyway they're quite large and uh, you know it, this would actually be a perfect knife if it had the flipper on the back and especially if it was um, uh, assisted opening as I prefer actually a flipper over thumb studs but you know they all can't be uh, what I want. Um, another downside for me is the aggressive jimping on the liner lock there. 
Now this area here acts as a very nice finger choil, but you get a nice good grip. If you get a nice tight grip, those gripping serrations or jimping, if you will, they, they kind of dig into your finger. So for me, those, the only two downsides are the aggressive serrations on the liner lock and the oversized thumb studs. Other than that, this has just been a workhorse, a very, very nice knife. So if you guys uh, like big blades that will withstand the uh, uses of everyday life, I would suggest picking one of these up. Alright guys, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later. Goodbye.